Okay then guys, let's have a quick look at this paper then. It's the May 2011 C3 paper for the WJC examination board. It's a good idea, good, good practice to look through a paper at the beginning of an examination just for a couple of minutes to try and work out how you how best to do the exam and to familiarize yourself with all the questions so that your mind subconsciously can start working on them straight away even though you might be working on another question. And also it helps you to choose which questions you'd like to get do at the beginning so that you can get off to the best possible start. So with those thoughts in mind then let's have a look at this paper then. Simpson's rule, fairly standard first question here to find out that. Time consuming, laborious, easy to make a mistake but not technically difficult. Um, and then use your answer in part A to deduce an approximate value for this integral. Okay so once you've worked out that you can work out this integral here. Oh I see because it's a multiple of right because the properties are logs isn't it now question two then so it's fairly standard really slight variation on the same theme though question two solve this uh, quadratic trig quadratic equation get rid of cot squared isn't it and have a quadratic in cosec and solve that that shouldn't be too bad and then here we've got um, an implicit function differentiation there, implicit differentiation and parametric. Question 3 is nice, good easy question it looks like to get off to a good possible start there with question 3. Question 4, uh, differentiation and also you're verifying something so you don't need to double check this of course prov provided you've got that correct there. And then we've got iteration formula here which is fairly easy to do but just slightly painstaking, you have to be slightly careful there and can be a little time consuming on those sorts of questions. 5 is nice, uh, fairly standard question here, differentiate these functions of a function product and a function of function constituent here and here we've got a quotient with two constituents both being functions of a function. Then, So that's nice and question 6 again integration functions of a function here. So substitution approach there for 6 and here the same 2 goes here for this definite integral so 6 is nice as well here this is easy uh, we need to find values such that that is not true so that should be easy to do solve this um, modulus equation then again that should be fairly easy as well so um, f of x log sketch uh, y equals f of x then and this function here so we need to be careful as we draw it and uh, so that question there so that one's number eight nine is the main function defined on a domain inverse function domain of the inverse is the range of the original function isn't it so that should be fairly easy to get when we've looked at this not shouldn't be too much of a problem there Question 10, the last question then. Uh, composites of these functions, here's the domains. Find the ranges, first of all, here, and the domain of f composite g and the range of f composite g. And write down fg and solve this equation. So, again, not too bad at all. So, the question paper doesn't look too bad at first glance. And there's some questions that we might prefer to do if we feel more comfortable with them right at the beginning to get off to the best possible start. So all the best then guys, if you're taking a C3 exam paper in the near future, hope you do very well and hope you get as good a marks as you deserve for all your hard work. Um, and uh, hope you benefit from the, the revision sheet here and hopefully I'll catch you again in another revision uh, session. Cheers!